Uh, greetings, math fans. All right, so what we're going to talk about today is uh, x and y intercepts. Okay, x and y intercepts. So this is just another way to graph things. Uh, the last lesson, what we did is we uh, had to solve for y, and we plotted points. Okay, and I told you specifically how to plot the points. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be finding two points. Because remember, yes, with yesterday's uh, lesson, you guys had to find three points because I wanted you to make sure that the points were really good. Now what you're going to do is you're actually just going to find two points. Okay, so what I want to do is I actually want to just make a quick graph, and I want to show you what an x and y intercept is. So let's just kind of plot some, let's plot two points here. Okay, so I'm going to plot this point right here and I'm going to plot uh, this point right here. All right, so this, well, let's label our axes, right? It's our x, y axes. Don't you guys agree? What an intercept, what does an intercept mean? Does an intercept mean it's it's crossing something? If I say an intercept, or like a missile intercepts an enemy plane, right? That means it hits that plane. It goes, it, it, uh, it it goes across it and it hits it, right? So if I talk about this first point here as the x-intercept, because that's, that means it's hitting the x-axis. And that coordinate of that point is 2 comma 0. And this other point right here, this is called the y-intercept. And the reason they call it the y-intercept is because it's crossing the y-axis. And that coordinate is 0, comma, negative 3. Now, I want you guys to kind of notice something here is, first of all, each of these guys have, oops, each of these guys have a 0. All right? So, and if, if I'm looking for the y-intercept, the x value is 0. And if I'm looking for the x-intercept, the y value is equal to 0. That is really, really key. I'm drawing a key here. Okay, it's really key. The y-intercept means the, the x is 0, and the x-intercept means the y is 0. You, and sometimes people get that confused. But just, if you're not sure, make a quick sketch and draw something. And say to yourself, okay, gee, now I'm at the y-axis, and um, I'm looking at this point right here, and I'm saying, oh, okay, well, what's the coordinate? 0, negative 3. Oh, it's the x that's, that's 0. Okay, because remember the y-intercept means it's where I'm crossing the y-axis. Well, you don't cross the y-axis at zero. You could, but the y-intercept means I'm crossing it in at zero, negative three. I can cross it here at negative two. I can cross it negative one at zero, at one, at two, at three, etc. So the y-intercept is, um, you know, where it's crossing the y-axis. Same thing with the x. Well, let's actually use our points that we. Let me put these in red here. Those are our intercepts that I chose. Once I find those intercepts, and again, that's what we're going to do is we're going to do a problem, and you're going to set x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. That's how you're going to find the intercepts. But once you find those intercepts, then you just draw a line between them. Okay? And that's all I'm looking for you guys to do. I'm looking for the actual x and y intercepts, and then I'm looking for that line between them. All right? Okay, so let's actually start out with a nice friendly problem here. Um, if I give you... Um, 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. And I ask you to find the x and y intercepts. Well, what you're going to do is, uh, let's do the first one, x-intercept. Well, what do you do? You set y equal to 0. That is so huge, math fans. You set y equal to 0 and then solve for x. That's all you do. So um, let's do that. 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. And remember I told you, 0 is my favorite number because 0 things just cancel out. So this is gone. And I have 2x equals 6. And I divide both sides by 2. So x equals 3. Now, math fans, I am looking for a coordinate. x equals 3, as you learned yesterday, is a vertical line going through 3. Um, didn't we already set y equal to 0? So what I'm looking for is, I'm looking for a coordinate of 3, comma, 0. That is the answer. That is my x-intercept. All right? Okay, let's look for our y-intercept. OK, 
Okay, well, I'm going to set x equal to 0 and solve for y. Okay, so I get uh, 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. That's gone. And I have 3y equals 6, and I divide both sides by 3. y equals 2. Again, I want a coordinate. I always want a coordinate. If you do not put a coordinate, I will mark it wrong. All right, so I want 0, which is our x right here, comma, 2. So this is it, math fans. I'm going to highlight this. That is our x-intercept, and that is our y-intercept. All right, and then you're going to graph this, because that's what I'm going to ask you to do. You're going to, add, you're going to come up with the x and y-intercept, and then you're going to graph it. So let's plot this. 3, comma, 0 is right here. That's my x-intercept where it's crossing the x-axis. And then the y-intercept is 0, comma, 2. So it's right there. That's where it's crossing the y-axis. And then you sketch a line connecting those two points. Okay? That's your graph. Now let me tell you a couple mistakes. These are some common mistakes. So um, I'm going to... This is one of the most common mistakes. Is I ask you guys to find an x and y intercept, and people find out x equals 3 and y equals 2. And what they do is they go, oh, okay, x equals 3, and they go 1, 2, 3, and y equals 2, and they plot a point. Ugh, it's brutal. Okay, brutal. Okay, you're plotting a coordinate of two, 3, comma 2. It has nothing to do with the x and y intercept. In fact, that's a random point out in space. Okay, so don't do that. Don't plot that point. It's not a coordinate. Those are two points. It's 3, comma 0, which is here, and 0, comma 2, which is here, and then you sketch a line. All right? And it's also one, this is, here's another mistake too. People plot the points and they start, they like draw lines like this and this. I mean, it's like, what? What are you guys doing? You sketch a line between those two points. All right, so that's a common mistake. And here, and the other common mistake is when you have a blank where it says x-intercept, people just put a 3 there. In a y-intercept, people just put a 2 there. Okay, that's wrong too. Again, they have to be coordinates. Very important. All right, so let's do a couple more problems here now that I kind of showed you uh, um, some of the mistakes that people make. Um, 5x minus uh, 4y is equal to 20. Okay, so uh, I found my x-intercept. What do you do? You set y equal to 0 and solve for solve for x. All right, so let's do that. Uh, it's 5x minus 4 times 0 equals 20. That's gone. So we have 5x equals 20. Divide by 5, x equals 4. What's the answer? 4 comma 0. That's my x-intercept. My y-intercept, set x equal to 0. And solve for y. So here we go. We have uh, 5 times 0 minus 4y equals 20. That's out of there. And we divide by negative 4. So y equals negative 5. So that coordinate is 0, negative 5. All right, so these are two points. And so just plot these points. 0. Actually, do, let's do the x-intercept first. doesn't really matter. So 4 comma 0 is um, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the x-axis. And 0, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're right here. All right. And then we just draw our line. Okay, that's it. That is using x and y intercepts. It's really pretty easy. Okay, so let's, let's do just a couple more here. Um, if I give you just a, it's not really more, too much more of a complicated equation here. Um, but let's say I gave you y equals, uh, let's put it in, y equals um, 5x plus uh, 
5x plus 5. All right? And I asked you to come up with, uh, uh, you know, the x minor step. So now this one's a little bit different because it's like solve for y. But, you know, that's no big deal. Let's do an x intercept first. You set y equal to 0. So 0 equals 5x plus 5. Well, let's subtract 5x from both sides. x equals negative 1. Okay, that was pretty easy. Okay, you just have to be really good at solving stuff, math fans. Very important. Okay, let's y-intercept. Set x equal to 0. That's really nice. So 5 times 0 plus 5. So y equals 5. So it's 5 comma 0. Okay, so 1... I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. That's 0 comma 5, my mistake. Okay, and I knew I made a mistake because I'm like, wait a second, I got a negative 1, 0, and 5, 0, okay? So, you know, you kind of live and learn a little bit, but you can kind of realize when you made a mistake. And plus, if I would have plotted 5, 0, I would have plotted on the x-axis and realized I made a mistake there. Okay, so negative 1, 0 is here, and 0, 5 is here. Right there, okay? And then graph it as nice and neat as possible. And that's your graph. Okay, plotting the x, x and y axis. And I'll tell you, part of your homework, math fans, is just identifying the x and y axis or x and y intercepts. So, for example, if I gave you, I mean, this is really easy. Okay, so if I gave you a point like uh, this point here and this point here. Oops, let me put that on there a little bit better. Okay, and I said, um, we can even draw the line here too. Not the straightest thing in the world, but it's okay. All right, I said, hey, what's the x-intercept? Well, don't you go to the x-axis and go, oh, okay, uh, negative 1, negative 2, neg it's negative 3, comma 0. Okay, what's the y-intercept? And you go, oh, it's down here. So I go 1, 2, 3, negative 4. So it's 0, negative 4. All right? That's really, really, really easy to, to find the x, y intercepts. Um, you know, just kind of look at the graph and find out where it's crossing the x-axis and for, find out where it's crossing the, the uh, y-axis. Now, even part of your homework is actually um, very, very simple in that... Um, uh, I, I can give you guys just the x and y intercept, and then you just graph it. I, we've done that already now. Okay, um, you know, if I told you, like here, let's just back to this example. Here, if I said, hey, the x intercept is negative three zero, and the y intercept is zero negative four, well, you plot those values, and then you draw a line between them. Right? That's really easy. Okay. So remember, math fans, x intercept is where it crosses the x axis, set y to zero. Y intercept where it crosses the y axis, set x to zero and you plot those points. And again, I want them in coordinate form, okay? And I want it plotted, each point plotted individually and then a line drawn between them, all right? So that is X and Y intercepts. Hope you learned a little bit and you guys have a great day. Adios, math fans. Goodbye.